Are you trying to play face height but keep running into the annoying secure boot is not working properly error? Don't worry, you're not alone. This issue usually pops up when Windows or your BIOS settings aren't configured the right way, stopping face height from verifying your system. In this video, I'll walk you through simple, step-by-step -step fixes so you can get secure boot working properly and jump back into your matches without any errors. First, let's confirm whether secure boot is actually enabled or not. To do this, press Windows plus R, type Symfo32 and hit enter. This will open the system information window. Look for the option called secure boot state. If it says on, then secure boot is already enabled. If it says off or unsupported, then you'll need to enable it from your BIOS settings, which we'll cover in the next steps. Now, restart your PC and enter your BIOS settings by pressing the correct key during startup usually Dell, F2 or F10 depending on your motherboard. Once inside the BIOS, go to the boot or security tab and find the secure boot option. Make sure it's set to enabled. If you see an option for OS type, select Windows UEFI mode instead of legacy. Save your changes and exit the BIOS to reboot your system. After enabling secure boot, you also need to make sure TPM 2.0 is turned on. Since FaceSight requires both secure boot and TPM, to check this, press Windows plus R, type tpm.msc, and hit enter. A new window will open look for status. The TPM is ready for use in specification version 2.0. If TPM isn't enabled, go back into your BIOS and turn on TPM or PTT under the security settings. Once that's done, restart your PC, and FaceSight should now recognize Secure Boot properly. That's it. After following these steps, the Secure Boot is not working properly error on FaceSight should be completely fixed. Now you can jump back into your matches without any issues. If this guide helped you, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more quick fixes.